I will uh, do this presentation in English. Um, first of all, a big thank you to Professor Schulz and his team for organizing the, this event, and of course to all the other uh, very interesting presentations uh, so far. Um, I will uh, show you today how we enable protection in smart grids with our ultra-fast uh, solid-state circuit breakers. It was uh, exactly five years ago when we were asked by several customers in the ship industry whether we could develop a solid-state circuit breaker for ships uh, with onboard DC grids. Uh, we know that DC systems have uh, many advantages over con conventional AC systems, um, but there are also big challenges. And one of the challenges is how uh, to efficiently implement um, a short circuit protection um, in such a DC microgrid. And what you can see on this screen is um, a DC ring system uh, like you can find it on a modern ship um, today. And um, you, you can see that there are several zones um, with generator sets and motors. Um, the power from the generator is transformed into uh, or, or uh, converted into DC current and, and then again inverted into AC. But what uh, these closed um, bus topologies do is that they um, connect all the DC links to a DC grid. Um, this is, of course, um, um, brings many advantages because, for example, you could just run on only one generator set and um, su uh, supply both motors with energy. But, um, of course, if there is a fault in one zone of the system, you need to protect the other zones. And um, that's the important part where our products come into play. So we have um, five years ago started to define requirements. And this list has been growing um, until just very recently. Um, requirements for, for a DC breaker in such kind of system. So first of all, of course, the breaker has to be ultra fast. Yeah, the, these systems are very low inductive. Uh, short circuit currents increase extremely fast. That's why we have to react ultra fast. Yeah. Then um, a circuit breaker has to be suitable for AC and DC. So in a DC grid, you don't have zero crossing of the current. Um, you cannot wait for such zero crossing, but you have to interrupt the current immediately. Um, it should not only um, bring short circuit protection, but also over voltage protection and over current protection and also zone protection. So zone protection means what I, what I said before, that if we have a fault in one zone of the system, we need to protect the other zones then we didn't want to add any additional inductance to the grid. Um, grid integrators like to design their grids very low inductive, and we don't want to bring additional inductance into the system if it's not necessary. Uh, then we wanted to make a fully autonomous system, a fully autonomous breaker, which um, measures, detects, and decides on its own whether to, uh, to switch off or to stay switched on. And that also has to do with the speed. So if you have to be so fast, there is no time for uh, any communication with an overall system controller. So the circuit breaker really has to decide on its own. And of course, we wanted to make a very high, reliable and, and compact design. Yeah, so before I go um, into detail about these requirements, I want to quickly um, show you who we are. So we are um, a rather small electronics company in Switzerland. We are only 15 uh, employees, and, but we have a long history in power electronics, in electronics, and also in high voltage uh, technology. Um, 
In our 25 years history, we have uh, made customized electronic solutions for, all, for over 50 customers. And um, about 20 years ago, we entered the power electronics area when we designed gate drivers for ABB uh, semiconductors. Uh, meanwhile, we have a lot of own um, gate driver products. For example, we have equipped uh, 500 kV HVDC breaker, um, which it was a, a very unique system. And one of uh, two of these breakers are fully equipped with, with Austral gate drivers. Um, we have also a long history in making medium voltage and high voltage switch, switch assemblies uh, with thyristors, with IGCTs, IGBTs, uh, and um, they go into railways, into radars, into material treatment, environmental protection. They also go into impedance measurement um, um, and, and many other applications. And then five years ago, we have, uh, as I already said, we have started to develop this uh, medium voltage solid state uh, circuit breaker. Um, what you see here is a product overview. I will not go here into too many, too much into detail. Uh, we will mainly focus on this very first product group, which is the solid state circuit breakers. And here um, we have currently the largest product variety in the market. So we have already successfully installed uh, these breakers in marine DC grids, also in smart grid, uh, AC grids, um, and also in certain industrial and research applications. Um, all our breakers are based on IGBT technology, but uh, if a customer wants us to, to do something with IGCT, we are in a very good position because we basically have all the building blocks to make an IGCT based breaker as well. And um, there is also a possibility to make hybrid breakers. This is just upon request. Yeah, then we maybe you can have uh, download this later if you're interested and have a closer look to all our other product categories. Now let's talk more about the requirements of uh, for such a circuit breaker. It has to be very fast, and with very fast, I mean um, that we have to switch off in microseconds. Um, what you can see here is uh, in this plot is um, the current through the circuit breaker uh, in a test where we uh, closed the breaker into a short circuit. And you see the yellow line, um, it increases very fast. And as soon as it reaches a certain current threshold, um, a short circuit is detected. So this happens in only two microseconds. The switch off process of the IGBTs then start about four to five microseconds after, and um, the current then starts to decrease. Now, actually, the current decreases uh, immediately in the IGBTs, but because you have a certain energy, of course, in the, in the, in the line inductance, uh, there is a, a snubber circuit taking over this energy, also integrated in the breaker. And then you have a, a clearance time of, of maybe maximum 100 microseconds. So this ultra fast switch off allows low inductive system designs, which is, is very important to our customers. And also, um, yeah, the short circuits are limited to a safe level. So um, mechanical breakers, for example, in most of these applications are not suitable because simply the short circuit reaches too high levels in a very, very short time. Yeah, but with our breaker, uh, all the other equipment is safe because we, we limit the short circuit to a lower level. Now, zone protection is a, a little bit more complicated because if um, a fault occurs in one of the zones of, of, a, of a system, then all the other breakers, not only the ones which are very close to the fault, but all breakers in the system can see and detect this short circuit. So they need to, in very short time, determine where is the exact location of the fault and then isolate the fault. 
and um, our breaker allow this um, and they allow this with certain key elements so first element of course is the ultra fast detection then the second one is a direct link um, an optical link between between each breaker and its neighbors yeah and then we have uh, software conf uh, configurable uh, current thresholds and switch of timings which can be set by the system integrator to allow him to implement this efficient zone protection. Yeah, what you see on the here on the graph is are again these uh, three different zones with two generator sets. In the middle, we have a zone with the battery uh, connected, and if a fault happens, the fault can be isolated, and the other zones of the system still operate in normal mode. On a ship, for example, this can mean that the, although there is a fault in one part of the ship, the whole ship is still um, um, is still in service and still oper operable. Yeah. What are other other important features? Um, one is vo voltage balancing. Voltage balancing is is a precharge um, mechanism, which allows uh, an integrated precharge. Uh, when you when you close the switch yeah so in these kind of systems you often have uh, big um, capacitors and if you have different voltage levels in the different zones you would have a, an inrush current when you close the switch and it would immediately detect a short circuit that's why um, we have this integrated voltage balancing solution then of course we have a, a very robust uh, interface to the host system. So although um, the breaker is fully autonomous, there is still, of course, uh, an interface to the overall controller, which can also send uh, feedbacks, which can, can receive commands to either open or close. And um, there are different, um, different protocols available, optical interfaces with either glass or, or plastic. And this is, uh, in, at least for the marine version, this is fully vibration proof and uh, also certified. And then, as I said, it is a unique modular design. Um, we have uh, for, for the marine application, we have always have one kV, maximum of 1.5 kV um, DC voltage. Um, but the current through the breaker is, is modular, so we can we can add more current by, by just adding more modules and making a bigger housing in general. So I can show this on the next slide. So this is what we currently offer for um, uh, circuit breakers, which are certified for the marine industry. Um, the biggest one is the three kilo amp, which is now uh, since just a few months available for order. And we have also a 1.25 and a 500, a 1.25 kilo amp and a 500 amp version, with, where we have reference projects uh, already. And then what's maybe uh, interesting also for laboratories and and uh, and universities, we also offer a small uh, air cool 200 amp uh, version, which is very popular because it it basically uses the same technology as the certified bigger versions, um, but it's it's a small, handy, um, practical solution, and of course, less expensive solution for uh, for laboratories. So many of our customers first build up a laboratories uh, a laboratory setup of the whole system with our smaller breaker before they go onto the ship. Yeah, but we we're not only making uh, these circuit breakers for ship, so. We have also this 11 kV three-phase product, which we have delivered to a smart grid project in the UK. And um, yeah, this is quite an interesting um, uh, project because um, they also have the problem. They, of course, have increasing amount of electric cars. They uh, have uh, partly uh, um, special uh, um, very, let's say, historically <laughs> Um, build up systems so they are not really prepared for this huge amount of new consumers. Um, so what they do is they connect um, the medium voltage substations of 
independent uh, grids and they exchange power and they do this with smart uh, power connection but here again they have the problem what if fault happens you if you have a fault on one side you need to to uh, make sure this fault does not propagate to to the complete grid and to other sections so they wanted us to build this 11 keys three phase ac breaker um, which you can see here on the right side uh, it's a very a nice compact design with the 12 level igpt stack pack assembly and um, i think it's pretty unique uh, on the market Another important application is future factories, which are running on DC. So what we see here is a, a factory with a DC bus power supply and power distribution system. Uh, the DC bus in this case also runs on 1 kV. And uh, this factory uh, uses, um, uh, yeah, uses direct connection of solar cells, which are may be installed somewhere on the roof of the of the factory. They also have big um, uh, battery packs uh, to, to, of course, store the energy. And then they have all the consumers. Um, they have machines in the factory. They have robots, conveyors, and they also have uh, vehicle charging stations connected to the bus. And of course, in case uh, there is not enough energy from the solar cells, they have a grid connection to in-feed um, energy if required. And that's also where our breaker comes into play. So this is uh, our industrial modular uh, design uh, DC breaker, uh, which is used in, in such kind of uh, systems. Also, as you see here in the middle, um, to protect um, big batteries when they are connect connected directly to the DC bus. It's always pretty much the same technology. It's always the same principle, just in different applications. Yeah, and here this just provides another overview of what we have at the moment. So we are constantly um, uh, making this, this uh, variety bigger and we are constantly increasing our portfolio. At the moment, we have these three different types and diff three different designs of breakers. Yeah, so I, I just want to quickly summarize. So I think it's important for you to know um, that ultra fast solid state circuit breakers are a, a very re a reliable solution for fault protection in smart grids. Um, we at Astro, we offer uh, the, the most comprehensive range of solid state uh, circuit breakers in the medium voltage range currently in the market we have references in marine smart grid and industry and all our technology is based on a 25 years uh, experience in designing uh, medium voltage electronics measurement electronics control electronics and also we have a very uh, uh, high, big know-how of uh, the semiconductors how to operate them and especially how to operate them also in dc environments yeah, so we are, uh, have a partner now in Germany, and that's more energy. And um, if you have question, you can uh, either contact more energy in Germany, or you can also contact us directly in Switzerland. Yeah, thanks a lot for your attention and looking forward to the questions. <laughs>